Well, we've had a couple of frosts, so really we have to get that mindset that it's going to be cold, and we have to worry about uh, well, how we're going to be feeding our feathered friends. So I'm with Amanda from Backyard Bird Shop, and so thank you so much for having us out, and you really have some really good tips for us and items to get. Yes, yes. So I encourage you, if, you're, if you've got a seed feeder out, go ahead and put a dome over it to protect it from the seed from rain and snow. And so whether it's a tray feeder, there's certain types of covers you can put over that. Seed feeders, you can slide a dome on top of that. That's really important to kind of protect from, from snow and, and ice. And then you should do that for hummingbirds too. Oh, sure. So this is, you know, a typical hummingbird feeder, but we have domes that you can hook the hummingbird feeder from to also protect from the water from getting in and diluting or snow and protecting from weather. Ah, but I see a cord there. So I know so many people have like um, alternative, um, not frozen feeders to put and just kind of alternate them during the cold weather. So this is even easier. We are so unique here in the Pacific <laughs> Northwest that we have that Anna's hummingbirds stay year round. And so they winter here when their nectar could get cold and frozen. And so people have been really creative at finding ways to make sure that that <laughs> nectar is continuing to flow. And so this is a, my favorite. This is what I use at my house because it's a cup with a light inside. Oh, that so you, easy. With a little bungee cord that you can just add mm -hmm. to a feeder that you may already have at home Excellent. if you have like a flat tray style feeder. And it's super handy and it keeps the nectar flowing. And then when the weather warms up, you just take it off and you still got your same feeder. That is easy. It's really handy. Because we really want to help them and, and enjoy them and have them come right up to our windows. And they wake up so early in the morning. <laughs> and that's pretty early <laughs> to get up. Us. Definitely. I'd have to switch the feeders out for sure. Uh, and you know, I think sometimes we worry about them sleeping in their little, on their branches, but you have like a little kind of protection there. Roost pockets are a very big favorite and it's also a great holiday gift if I Definitely. might say so of course um, it's they're a great little way to hang a, a kind of shelter from mm -hmm. the weather for the birds they're not gonna nest in these these are not where they raise their young this is just for them to get out of the cold weather and the wind and sleep at night and Aww. so it's just a fun way to hang them in your trees you can even tuck it in a wreath on your front door because they're going to be leaving mm -hmm. um, before you get up in the morning and come in and out of the house well, definitely and then what about bird baths because it's kind of hard to keep them not frozen so do you have some ideas for that it is and so it's so important to remember that they need fresh water in the cold winter months and so there's a few different options this is a bird bath de-icer mm. that you can plug in and put in any bird bath you already happen to have at your home and it's a great way to keep the water thawed and moving. And then if you're super fancy, Look at that. this is actually a heated bird bath. And so this has the elements already built into it. And there's a there's a plug down here and you can plug it in and it's it's high class. It is high class. Some people can, can handle, yeah. Yeah, but you're still providing that um, shelter and the water for your birds all winter long. Shelter, food, and water all winter long, yeah. for sure. And you know, Backyard Bird Shop has all these great things, plus you have to come and shop for Christmas time for all of your gardening friends and for your friends for that Feed the Birds. Absolutely. Thank you so much for all that. And if you have any other questions, please go to gardentime.tv and you can click over their website, find all of their stores all around Portland and in the Vancouver. Hoover area. Thanks so much. Thank you.